Hello, welcome. So you want a crypto. Today, I thought in honor of hopefully the kickoff of this new cycle of excitement and gains, Bitcoin going up, Ethereum going up, I, I think we're going to see a lot of all-time highs be broken across the board. So I thought today we would just go to Coinbase, look at the first page, and then just quick talk through each of these and then a couple bonuses and stuff at the end. First thing, Bitcoin. Back in January, we hit, what, 41 almost, 42, January 7th. Now we're back down a little bit. Bitcoin dominance is falling. It's at 62.7 up. Let's see, it was around 70 at the end of December. And you can see right here, November. Then this was the big jump in the last bull cycle. And then you can see where it started to piddle off and then Bitcoin slowly gained its dominance, but nowhere where, where, near where it was. All right, Ethereum. I think Ethereum broke all-time highs this morning. Yeah. So it's got nowhere to go but up right now. Look for maybe a little pullback or something, but we'll see good things out of Ethereum throughout February. Not much more to say on that. As Bitcoin loses its dominance, money flows into Ethereum, then it goes to altcoins. We should see a DeFi come back. See Tether, and look, we're just going right here. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, Ripple. We'll go right down the list. Tether, stablecoin, dollar, Ripple. Man, what do I say about Ripple? Here it was last time, and they are currently grounded by the SEC. So whenever they get out of their timeout or whatever, if they get an appeal or a settlement or February 15th, we'll know more. That's the Ripple thing. Polkadot. I like Polkadot. I think Polkadot's going to see new all-time highs really soon. Let's see all. I mean, we're right underneath all-time highs, what, a couple, two weeks ago. So we've pulled back a little bit from that. Look for Polkadot to push through all-time highs again into February. And as you can see, we didn't have it in the last 2017, 2018 timeframe. Cardano here, relatively new back then. And we can see it had a good push to $1.33 and we are back down on this early shoulder. So I would say look for, and you know, middle end of month of Cardano, make a push, maybe early March, trying to see if it can push for all time highs. It depends on how Bitcoin goes, how Ethereum goes, how long they take, where, how long it takes the money to flow down. If there's no unforeseen anything, but right now there is a lot of money coming to the cryptocurrency world. Litecoin, kind of the same, you know, area as Cardano as far as it's a lot older, but you know we're looking December, and one thing you can look to. So Bitcoin peak was in December. Uh, Litecoin. Peak was in December. Ethereum. Peak was in January. And then coins or tokens and stuff later, the altcoins and stuff like that, you'll see that they're more January. So it's a little bit of a shift. That's what I'm talking about. But Litecoin, yeah, uh, February. Middle of February. What are we talking November? December? Yeah, in a month. I don't know. If things keep going the way they are right now. Litecoin should be doing pretty well in a month two weeks to a month just these are none of this is financial advice this is just speculation kind of quick like speed round across the the top page here chain link oracles are going to be they'll grow chain link is already pretty big but it's got room to grow no worries here we just were looking all-time highs recently and we'll be right back there again no problem february good month for chain link bitcoin cash same thing it's a December, kind of followed Bitcoin, so it'll be maybe a little earlier. I'm not really sure, though. I would say look for it to go up, but maybe not quite as dramatically as everybody thinks. I would say Litecoin would probably be a bigger jumper than Bitcoin Cash. Or, yeah, Bitcoin Cash. Binance, grow, grow, grow. We can see just barely anything back then. But it's going up. Binance, growing. I think we're at all-time highs right now anyway. Yeah, look for some pullbacks, but I, I say growth. February, good month. 
Maybe a pullback watch cost average buying and stuff, but yeah. Stellar, same thing. It was one of those February or January time frame. You know, a little bit after the Bitcoin push. And it's on the same little early precipice here, so end of February, middle of, middle to end of February for a lot of these, you know, they're just a little behind. Bitcoin and Ethereum, you know. Ethereum is pumping right now. Bitcoin's been it Bitcoin should kinda hopefully correct and start going up. I, I give I say February, March is gonna be a good month. USD C one dollar. And Uniswap. Again, this is one that wasn't around before. It's only been around since last year. And we're basically at all-time highs and pushing up and up and up. So I think Uniswap will have a good month as well in February. Look for some little pullbacks, but nothing bad. All right, some oddballs and, I don't know, bonus coins, whatever. I like Haven. Uh, it's a privacy coin. I think privacy coins kind of fell off the radar for a little bit and I don't know I think they'll have a resurgence Haven is as you can see this is all time really kind of it's got a pretty good little growth going on right here and it's over the last you know it's done well but it's kind of the last month has just been you know big pullbacks big growths big pullbacks so be careful watch your cost average buying but I'm bullish on Haven very bullish on band. Uh, Oracles, I think that they're gonna see a good growth through February, March. DOS, same thing. You can get DOS on Uniswap and Bitmax. So, DOS, Decentralized Oracle. There's three Oracles on here, Chainlink, Band, and DOS that I like. Or that's where you, you know, as things grow, you'll need that information input. And you can't just have one Oracle, you, you know. I think that there'll be a need for multiple. Here's 1.1 trading volume and 9.5 in market cap. Another one, I think, Dago. I like Dago. Dago's been moving up. We had a good one today. What, 36% in the last 24 hours? Dago's NFT exchange stuff like that four and a half million in 24 hour volume 6.2 in market cap 700 almost on the rank i like dago dago is going to have a good couple months plasma finance somebody asked me about this one uh a little bit right here stagnant i think maybe march end of february march time frame as the DeFi starts to kick off people understand or that money starts to flow down to that half a million trading in the last 24 hours in 5.2 so yeah, maybe February, March time frame, you could see a little push on that. And then the last one will look Tomo. Tomo Erigato. 109 million market cap, 23 million volume. 158, that's a little bit higher, but I, I was trying to just throw a whole scatter shot out there. And as we can see on this one, max all time, 2018, May. Initial dropped way down. We've seen some ups and downs and ups and downs, but it looks like more ups are starting to come out our way than downs on this. So I would say look for Tomo in late February, early March maybe. 10% in the last day. It depends on what, where the world is at that time. Anyway, man, that was it. I tried to throw a whole bunch of coins, random, nothing particular, nothing too specific. Just some stuff looked to look at, some ideas to come forward with and NFT, DeFi, altcoin. There's a lot of money coming this way. I think people are going to be really pushing into this cryptocurrency market, block, blockchain, just because of the... I think they might feel a little worked in the stock market, you know? And some things are going to go, but it, I, the stock market's getting scary. It feels like it's propped up and it's, you know, losing its legs. Whatever, that's a story for another day. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, hopefully we'll... We're going to try and vary the content, but we'll still hit all the classics you like. So XNS, guys, don't worry. I'll make XNS updates every now and then. They I, it look like they had a little pump this morning, too. I'm not really digging that too far into them today. but All right, cheers, everybody.